Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you one of my really shrimps who has yellow biopsy day. It's a green fungus. I am going to show you the procedure how to separate it from the main tank and do salt dip. Okay, stay tuned. First make sure how to catch him or her. I think it's a him. If I don't separate him right now this fungus is extremely contagious so which will happen is it can be spread with other shrimps and the whole colony can be dead Out that I'm after him. Okay. What a lot of people do is they can call the shrimp. I choose not to. If there is something I can try with, first I do that. Um, sometimes they die while treating them, but most of the time in this way, I have seen good results. I got this information from another aquarist. He shared from plantedtank.net. So to go with the setup, all I have to do is put shrimp in a separate tub from other shrimp and you only need around like one to two gallon this is a one and a half gallon tank I usually use it for my hospital tank so this is a hospital tank um, this yeah this the whole size would be probably a one and a half gallon right now and I have to put some home comforts for example Java moss some almond leaf, choya wood if available, or like tiny bit of food. So first, as I put new tap water, I'm gonna dechlorinate, ah, dechlorinate it. One, two, three, four drops. Okay. Adding some home comforts. So I got some elder cones, some used almond leaves, oh, bits and pieces of it, and one shelter for the shrimp. And it's asking for an air stone. It's a must, so I'm adding it right now. So the bubbles will help. So now the process, after I put the air stone in, it should be taking a small glass, filled with measurements of two cups of either tank water or dechlorinated tap water which is here, and then it says add one tablespoon of aquarium salt. I do have API aquarium salt here. And then I have to stir the salt as my life depends on it. <laughs> so it means that I have to completely dissolve it before I do the dip. One tablespoon. One. Well, this is a teaspoon, so I'm going to do three teaspoons, which leads to one tablespoon. And then dissolve it. Mm 
There's lots of crystal down here. One eternity later, completely dissolved the salt. No crystals underneath. And now I'm using this net which will help me dipping and not worry about picking it up again. Here's in another cup, there's a the shrimp. I'm gonna, as you can see, poor baby. I'm gonna salt it for four minutes. And during this time, if you're using the previous tank water, like the next days, you should dump the hospital tub water and fill it with fresh water every time you do it. So like, of course, for initial salt dip, you don't have to do it because you already just set up the tank. And repeat the salt dip every two days. Um, I usually did that before too. I gave a good break and that helped not getting them stressed out with the salt dip. All right, there you go. So while I wait, I'd like to set it up, set up my hospital tank. I mean, as, it's, as you have seen, it's already been set, but I'd like to put the air stone in and turn it on. It's usually, my kitchen countertop is usually my hospital tank place. That way I can keep a close eye and, you know, watch them if there's an improvement or if they need any help. So in this, this, there is no filter just to let you know, it is just an air stone and just for extra notes, you must change the hospital tank water completely during each salt dip. And the shrimp that was salt dip uh, before this one, it was really like four or five times and I had good success with that. Um, yeah, and uh, there is there is no filter in here, just air stone. They do need air, like oxygen in their tank. So it must have the air stone hooked up. And even after your cherry looks clear, you should wait for an additional wick as just, you know, making sure the fungus is completely gone. But as well, this does not guarantee that your shrimp won't die but for my case it thankfully haven't happened i will share the link if you really need to see it in person like which website i got this information from down below and later on hopefully i have to drip acclimate it because the water is completely new what I'm gonna do is I picked a little bit water from the old tank and after it's done, I'm gonna drop him here and then drip acclimate it to the new water. That way, just to be safe that he won't die with the new water condition. Okay, so four minutes is gone. Now I am going to carefully put this little thing in the tank water. And throw this water out. Now I'm going to drip acclimate it until about the water level goes up to here then he will be ready to go in his new hospital tank.
so as you can see it's almost done and I'm not gonna do any more well I think it stopped too <laughs> And carefully switch I am going to add a little bit of calcium powder because Alexa stop because this way I can make it mold faster and my well water is, is, is still in a little soft side so I'm going to use this bit of very little bit of calcium and put on the lid we're good to go Mr. Shrimp Well, he's here somewhere, so thank you for watching. Oh, there you go. Keeps going on and on. I think he's angry at me or something. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I will give some updates, hopefully within two weeks, about this boy. He's not going to like it, the salt dip, but that's the only way to cure him. If you like it, please give a like. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.